So welcome, people of God. So I have a really quick, strong word of performance, and I am excited about releasing this word over you. And this is something that the Lord really just dropped in my spirit. And so I'm going to reference a passage of scripture that contextually is not talking about the new and old, but I'm going to use it. There is a passage of scripture that says you cannot serve two masters that you are going to love one and despise the other. And when I think about the performance of what God has promised us versus the life that we've had, the life that we've been living, it makes me think about us serving the new or the old. We cannot serve both. You cannot be postured in anything old while believing for the new. And let me help you with something. The new is big. The new is a big deal. And I believe that in the body of Christ, everything that we've been taught, all the fighting, all the focus, all the warfare has been postured against the old. And all it has done is continue to give us agreement, access, and authority with the old. And whether or not you are in the front of the Bible or the back, the New Testament or the old, I know I'm saying old and new a lot, the instruction, the strategy is the same. You have to forget the old. The old has to pass away. It has to. But if you are continuing to talk old, agree with old, respond to old, react to old, you are feeding it. You are feeding the old and starving the new. And that needs to end right now. All of your agreement, all of your attention, all of your authority needs to go to the new. That means that when you are triggered, and let me tell you, don't feel some type of way about being triggered. When something shows up in your life and that thing triggers you, that is something you need to release or you need to be healed from. Stop being in shame and stop blaming people. Heal or let it go. That's the only way you're going to move past it. But I want to encourage you that this new thing, whether it, it, whatever it's about, whatever this new thing is that you want. When I say the new, the new is whatever it is you are believing God for that has not shown up. That's the new. And the old is anything that's here right now that you, that you're not believing from God. Like, no, you got to get out of here. The separation, the pain, the lack You telling somebody you don't have the money to pay the bill, let that be the last time those words come out your mouth. You telling somebody, I owe these people, I need to move, and let that be the last time those words come out of your mouth and let every single thing you say thus far between you and God is that I'm blessed that I got the money. I'm blessed that I got the money. If somebody asks you and you don't want to outright say that, God has it worked out. You need to be like the Shunammite woman. Didn't even tell her husband that her son was dead. All is well. Unless you got it, don't ask me. Girl, you, 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 wait, he, he home yet? All is well. What you want to know for? All is well. Feed the new. And when I teach people like this, they're like, oh, you don't want to feed. You don't, you don't want me to feel anything or this is toxic positivity let me tell you what's toxic speaking that same old same old negativity is is toxic depression is toxic having in your life what doesn't serve god that's toxic but speaking those things that be not as though they were that is the bible being anxious about nothing that's the bible feel what you want to feel But me telling you to feed your new and starve your old, that's not no toxic positivity. That's Bible. You can get in and you don't have to test the spirits on that one. You can go straight to the word of God. The new is big. The new is big and it is supposed to outweigh, push out, push back, push through anything old anything old and if you've lived a life that you've been through some stuff your old is heavy your old is dense your old is very familiar 
You can be wanting a marriage, but still be hurt by something from your past. Trust me, I know. You can really, really, really believe God for the new house. But looking at that bank account, if you've never had supernatural money, where you think your faith going to be in? Girl, that money ain't showing up. You, you, money don't fall from the sky. Why it can't? Why it can't? Yes, it can. Sure it can. Money can show up any way that it wants to. It don't have to fall from the sky, but it can show enough flow through a cash app or a PayPal or somebody wanting to bless me a refund somewhere or maybe even the person giving me grace. You know what? You don't have to have it all right now. But if you are living in something and this is not what you and God decided is your performance, that's the old. Forget it. Stop giving it attention. Stop giving it agreement. Stop giving it authority. Starve it. Starve it. That fast that you don't, you can't do, give it to the old. Say, you know what? I'm putting you on a fast. I'm putting my old and you, and I'm, you getting on a fast until you starve up out of here. That's the only way I'm going to get rid of you. I'm putting you on a permanent. We not doing no Daniel fast. We doing a Romania fast. You, you, you up out of here. You, I'm starving you out, baby. I don't have time. Because trust me, and this is what we're not taught, right? We think just because we're not actively thinking that we're in agreement with the old, that the new is going to show up. No. No, the old is like roaches. You don't have to see me, but I'm here. I'm here. It, it don't matter. I'm lurking. Try to move around. C cut the lights on and bring that man in and see if I don't pop up. All that old agreement you had about love. All that old agreement that you had about relationships. That's how the old is. We starving it out. We, st we getting rid of it. We forgetting about it. 